So what I'm gonna do is mute everything except for the rhythms. All right, so here's my process with the rhythms. Same as like the cymbals and stuff, I would group them so I can EQ them the same. Um, I would probably, again, just reach for something like this. Start kind of cutting. I'll make some moves on the guitars, um, and we'll see what happens. that I like to take out of guitars. I think uh, I've seen Joel and Joey do the same thing as taking out like three to four. It's kind of a harsh, kind of a harsh area of the guitar, so. So one thing that you could think about as you're doing it is like <clears throat> having like a, a reference point of how you want things to sit against each other. So for me, I'm thinking a lot about like the kick and snare, um, making sure those are always present and kind of the focal point of, so in this, this instance, I'm gonna make sure that my snare is a little harsher than my guitars, as you could say, so let's listen for that. So I'll, fun to compress the guitars a little bit, just a touch, not too much. Kind of like push them down under the drums. Here we go. As you guys can see, is trying to keep the drums like in my face. And as you bring things up and down, like your drums are going to go away. So you just got to be careful. If you bring stuff in, start adjusting your drums as you feel those start changing. 